Welcome to 20 Android applications that I reckon are super underrated. And the way I've qualified apps to be featured in this list are that they either have around 10,000 or less downloads on the Google Play Store, or they don't have great reviews, perhaps due to an earlier version of the app not being great. And so kicking off the list is a weather app called Weather by Falcon. And the crazy thing about this app is that according to the Play Store, it's only received around 1,000 downloads. And I think that's a huge shame given how well this app is designed. Pretty much all the information you might want is available on this one home page. And my guess is that because the app hasn't been updated since 2019 and that it never left beta testing, that's probably why it hasn't been as successful as it could have been. Still worth a try, I think. And then we have Volve, which is a moderately successful app with around 10,000 downloads. But this app makes catching up on all of the latest news really efficient. Each of the articles are curated and they're all around 70 words in total, meaning they can be read in about nine seconds, which is amazing for those of us with limited attention spans. It's also got an amazing design and a really impressive UI. Now, Edgeblock is one of those apps you'd assume had millions of downloads, but again, its downloads are sitting at around the 10,000 mark. This is an app that helps to prevent accidental touches that can so often occur when using big smartphones with curved displays. It's highly customizable, making it really easy to control which edges are blocked and how wide the touch rejection area is. And you can also quickly pause the feature using the persistent notification, which is super handy. All right, Life Memory has such a cool concept that it's actually pretty baffling it's not being used by more people. The functionality is simple. It will record audio on your phone in the background 24 seven, and the benefits of this could potentially be huge. Whether you're looking to keep a never ending record of your days, or you're looking to enhance the security on your phone, it's a really cool concept. And the file sizes are fairly small and compact as well. Now, I think I have a pretty good idea as to why Filmic Remote has less than 10,000 downloads, and that's because of the price. It's around $10 straight up, and whilst that does sound expensive for an application, this one is so powerful that it completely justifies that price. So in essence, the app is designed to be a companion app to the much more popular Filmic Pro, which if you haven't heard of that, is an app that lets you film on your phone with full manual control. And the Filmic Remote is an app that allows you to wirelessly control that application from another phone. For every feature this app has, you'd normally be paying hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So it's absolutely worth the price of admission. In a similar way, Repainter also comes with a slightly higher than usual upfront cost of around five US dollars. And this is no doubt what contributes to it only having around 5,000 downloads. However, the functionality is seriously amazing. Once you've granted the app permissions via ADB or root access, it will then unlock a huge amount of additional colors to enhance Android 12's fairly limited automatic color theming. It's a super powerful application if you're looking to really level up the material you theming functionality that shipped with Android 12. And then there's Billbot, which is a beautifully designed subscription manager application that essentially allows you to set up all of your various subscription services that you signed up to so that you can keep them in check. You can even set up reminders to occur just before a subscription is about to roll over, which might help to save you some money. The fact that it has only around 10,000 downloads is borderline criminal. All right, for an app that hasn't been updated since 2018, Pickering Stop still works surprisingly well, and I reckon it's super useful. With the app set up and activated, anytime your phone rings and you pick it up, the ringing sound will then stop. And it makes sense, right? We've picked up our phone, we don't need it to keep ringing. Really helpful. All right, before we get on to the next app, I just wanna take a quick moment to thank today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. If you're like me and you're all about keeping the clutter out of your pockets, then you are absolutely gonna love the wallets from The Ridge. I've been using this incredibly sleek titanium wallet in matte cobalt from The Ridge since the start of this year. And I'm seriously obsessed with not only how minimal and compact this thing is, but also how premium it is as well. The build quality is on another level. It actually fits up to 12 cards, plus there's additional room for cash on top of that. And whilst this matte cobalt one is super attractive, they've also got over 30 different colors and styles available to choose from on their website, which is incredible. 
On top of all of that, every Ridge wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Plus, if you visit the first link down in the description and use the code Sam Beckman at checkout, you can get 15% off. All right, back to the applications. Now, as far as timer applications go, you think there'd be very limited ways to make one unique. And so that's what makes it so surprising that TimeRise has so few downloads because it is so unique. In the same way as an egg timer, TimeRise will only activate the timer once you turn your phone upside down and it's really satisfying. Highly recommend. Another app that is severely underrated in my opinion is Life AR. This is a video chat application that allows you to interact with others on the other line using augmented reality. You can insert pointers, sketch marks, or even notes, and this has the potential to really level up how we communicate via video chats. Even more than that, the execution is incredible, so definitely an app that should be way more popular than it currently is. Okay, if you've ever wanted a more convenient way to control any media playing on your phone, then Media Bar is a super underrated app you should definitely check out. Whenever any media is playing, its progress will become visible somewhere on your status bar, depending on how you've set it up. And what's even cooler is that you can also then scrub through whatever is playing by swiping left or right. Super neat. Following that is Sunnyside, which is a beautifully minimal weather app that somehow has less than 10,000 downloads on the Play Store. You get a big UV index number displayed in the middle, but then the app will also present you with helpful guidelines for protecting yourself against UV light. I love the design of this app, and I reckon it deserves way more recognition. Now, when I featured Nosh on the channel a few months ago, I had just assumed it was this big, super popular app, but when I saw that even now, it literally only has around 5,000 downloads, I was gobsmacked. The app is a food tracker and inventory, and you can either input items manually or by scanning barcodes, which is pretty cool. But for me, it's the design of the app that makes it so impressive. Super clean and minimal, which is just how I like my apps. And if you thought 5,000 downloads was low, what about Mic Check, which has only 1,000 downloads? This is a sound recording application, but the design is on another level. It really feels like it could be a part of Google's own suite of apps, which is very high praise, but there's a few other handy tools they've included as well. Still in a bit of shock that this one has so few downloads. Worth checking out. In comparison to that, the 10,000 downloads that Play Deals has seems monumental. However, considering how useful this app is, I'm surprised it doesn't have way more. This app updates every single day with the latest app sales and discounts. And if you find anything you like the look of, just tap on it and download away. You could honestly save a decent chunk of cash just by browsing through this app once a week. Now, AutoHertz also only has around 10,000 downloads. However, it's also underrated due to the fact that it got a lot of unnecessary negative reviews due to an issue on Google's end when Android 12 was released. The app basically lets you manually decide what your phone's refresh rate should be set to on an app by app basis. You can leave the toggle set to auto, which will let your phone decide the refresh rate, but then you can also manually set a toggle to 60 Hertz or to your phone's max refresh rate. That way you're guaranteed a high refresh rate when you want a high refresh rate, but you can still save power when using apps where a high refresh rate is just unnecessary. Launcher's QuickTile is the sort of app you need to download if you have more than one third party launcher installed on your phone, which is why I was kind of baffled when I saw that it had less than 10,000 downloads. As the name suggests, with the app installed, you'll be able to set up a new quick settings toggle that will bring up the home launcher switcher. That's it. It's really simple, but also incredibly useful. Now, when you consider that there are hundreds if not thousands of different note-taking style applications on the Play Store, it's not all that surprising to learn that an app such as Listy has slipped a little under the radar. But I reckon it's awesome. Rather than being an app for taking just any old notes, this app instead really nails the niche of creating lists because whenever you're adding to a list, it will then populate additional information like book covers or movie posters, which just makes the lists look that much better. I actually stopped keeping a track of the books I've read this year using my main note-taking app because I just much prefer using Listy instead. Second to last is Tellurium, and this app is such a helpful add-on for WhatsApp that it's surprising it doesn't have far more downloads. It actually solves that annoying WhatsApp issue where you can only send messages to contacts saved on your phone. You just enter the necessary phone number as well as the country code and then hit send. That'll automatically open up a WhatsApp chat with that particular phone number, and that's it. Really handy. 
And so finally, we have Remind Me. And whilst there are stacks of incredible reminder apps available on the Play Store, Remind Me has a unique trick up its sleeve that really should result in more attention than what it's currently getting. And that feature is the quick settings toggle, which allows you to quickly send a reminder to your notification shade just from the tap of a single button. A really handy feature that I'm sure a lot of us would use a lot. And so there you have it, 20 Android apps that I think are super underrated. Links to each app have been included down below as well as my new shorts channel, which you should definitely check out. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.